Hello, curious minds. Today we're delving into the fascinating story of how we unraveled one of Earth's most profound secrets, the discovery of plate tectonics. Join us on a journey through scientific inquiry, groundbreaking observations, and a revolution in our understanding of the dynamic processes shaping our planet. In the early 20th century, scientists such as Alfred Wegener noticed the intriguing fit between the coastlines of South America and Africa. The similarity suggested a potential connection challenging the prevailing belief in static continents. Wegener proposed the idea of continental drift, suggesting that continents had once been part of a larger supercontinent, Pangaea. However, he lacked a mechanism to explain how continents could move. Alfred Wegener's 1915 book, The Origin of Continents and Oceans, laid out the continental drift hypothesis. He pointed to geological and paleontological evidence, including identical fossils on continents separated by vast oceans to support his claims. While Wegener's ideas were met with skepticism, they sparked interest in the concept of dynamic earth processes. Geological similarities in rock formations supported the idea of continental drift. However, Wegener lacked a mechanism explaining how continents could plow through oceanic crust. During World War II, advancements in sonar technology designed for submarine warfare inadvertently transformed our understanding of the ocean floor. The mapping revealed mid-ocean ridges deep sea trenches, and a vast underwater mountain range, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This new data raised questions about Earth's structure and dynamics. In the early 1960s, geologist Harry Hess proposed the theory of seafloor spreading. He suggested that molten material rising from the Earth's mantle at mid-ocean ridges creates new oceanic crust, pushing existing crust away. This idea provided the missing mechanism for Wegener's continental drift and offered a comprehensive model for Earth's dynamic processes. In the quest for evidence, Fred Vine and Drummond Matthews made a groundbreaking discovery. They found parallel magnetic stripes on the ocean floor, mirroring each other across mid-ocean ridges. This hinted at alternating periods of normal and reversed magnetic polarity, providing strong support for seafloor spreading. The culmination of these discoveries led to the formulation of the plate tectonics theory. In the mid-20th century, Scientists integrated Wegener's continental drift, Hess's seafloor spreading, and advancements in understanding Earth's magnetic field to propose that Earth's lithosphere is divided into plates that move atop the underlying asthenosphere. The acceptance of plate tectonics transformed the field of geology. It explained earthquakes, volcanic activity, and the distribution of mountains and ocean basins. The theory provided a unifying framework for understanding diverse geological phenomena, and offered insight into Earth's history and future. Technological advancements, including satellite-based GPS, have refined our understanding of plate movements. Ongoing research continues to uncover the intricacies of plate tectonics, deepening our comprehension of Earth's dynamic processes. Collaborative efforts, such as the International Ocean Discovery Program, allow scientists to drill into the ocean floor and gather direct evidence of plate tectonics. In conclusion, the journey to discovering plate tectonics is a testament to human curiosity, scientific collaboration, and the integration of diverse pieces of evidence. From early clues of continental fit to the revelation of seafloor features and magnetic patterns, the puzzle of Earth's dynamic behavior gradually fell into place. Plate tectonics is now a cornerstone of Earth science, enriching our comprehension of the dynamic forces that shape our planet. If you enjoyed this exploration into scientific discovery, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.